Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Ami Hailu in Dreamland. Previously in Ami Hailu, we reached the second part of the dream, and we start collecting belly buttons. Don't ask why, our main character just likes them a lot. I can see my best babes got into a lot of strange trouble, but it's okay now, she's with me. Not knowing where you are can cause you to panic. I hid in a store. I found him hiding in a store. Is that so? Well, I showed up here with a gun. It's on the bed. Don't take it. It's mine. If you want, we can switch the member of our search party. Ami Hailu, since you're taking initiative, you can lead party A, and I'll lead party B. Just talk to me if you want to switch out members. Keep Misha with us for right now. Turn on the air conditioning, you know, so we can uh, condition this air. So welcome to Cave World, where we're gonna fight, uh, let's see, who do we usually fight in a Mega Man game in a cave? I think Bear Man? I think he was, that was Mega Man X, he was in a cave. Some secrets are known only to those who are enlightened. No duh, who writes this crap? Someone who would take the time to cut themselves to purposely write a message on the wall. Hey there, little sis. Hanging in there so far. I'm trying. Everywhere I go, there's just more and more twisty crap in strange places. All of my friends are acting weird, and it's really dark in here. It'll be alright. If you can keep from getting complacent, you'll come out on top, Ami Hailu. Their minds are just hazy, you know. Tell me, can you remember what you did before you got here? Well... I just came home from holiday, and I was getting ready to watch a movie with Mikhail. He was sore from a few minor injuries, and I wanted to make him feel better after having to leave early. Well, that's remarkably sweet of you. I'm happy to hear that you're treating your friends well. I was visiting a sick friend of my own, and decided to take a rest. She lived on the other side of the country, and it was a long flight. Maybe you fell asleep before coming here. I don't know. Maybe I did. Well, keep your chin up. When you get home, remember to treat your friends right, okay? And don't pass up on any opportunities to make their lives special. Alright. See you later. See you. The unmarked key. She just wants to be left alone. Think about it. You're living in some kind of of her dimension, I don't know what this is. It could be hell or something. And someone rudely finds some key you probably lost or left hidden, you know. Kind of like people hide keys near the door or something like that. And they open your door and they come barging in, ruining your private time. Hey, where did you go? What do you mean? I've left and now I'm here. 
You've been really cagey, Yev. I mean, Evakani. I didn't even see you in the metro, thingy. I showed up after you did. I was a little busy, you see. There's someone after us, and I'd like to cover our tracks. Our tracks? Well, if you don't mind, I have to leave now. Don't go getting yourself into any trouble now. He was sure was in a rush to get out of here. Totally not suspicious. Sometimes you have to wonder how a key gets jammed in a printer. I can only think that someone was feeling awfully cheap and they didn't want to go to a key guy or a locksmith. And they thought, you know what? I need a copy of this key. Shh. Did the did the obvious thing. This didn't copy the key at all. Oops. This song reminds me of a song I heard back in. A lot of these songs actually remind me of the soundtrack of specifically X-Men, the X-Men Sega Genesis games. Um, Especially X-Men 2 Clone Wars had a song that kind of went like this. There were some technicalities with the Genesis and SNES that they, uh... This reason their soundtracks were so varied, and I forget what it was. If you actually can read these now, that your mind's clear. I remember before it was just a book talking shit to me. By Amiha, we saw it today. My contract worker showed me. The attendants gave me a talisman. I've been to hell. It's so easy, yet they somehow managed to keep people from getting there. Inside, we met with members of the Hell Ministry of Police, Inspectors Chisato, Takako, and some long-haired one I can't remember. Takako was the crook of the bunch, and hasn't been in service for long. Chisato was her chief inspector, but she liked to get hands-on when it came down to solving a case. The third one was a veteran, no doubt, but she was always around a number of other members. Our resident technician told me, that she'd been hit on twice by this girl. She must really be quite lonely. It's so lonely in hell. Everyone's kind of dead. I suppose. Hey, 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 cutie. Remember me? I was your range instructor at the academy. Major Kokoma. It's alright to call me Ksenia. We're not in uniform right now. Well, looks like the neighbor boy is. How are you today? All you people wear collars, don't you? <laughs> Hi. I didn't figure you'd be the soldiering type. Why don't you join up, kiddo? Um, no reason. Probably to chase you, Miss K er, Sinai. Weren't you up for promotion to the lieutenant colonel this month? Right oh. And they boy boy Do you live near him? Right again. I turned down a base housing to live nearby my friends. His mom included. He seems to remember me. He's wearing a collar I gave him. Wow wow. Well if that skinny neck, it's definitely a good fit. Right, so what are you doing here? There's a lot of weird stuff going on. Normally, I'd tell you some gibberish or something to keep you in the dark for your safety, but it looks like you're already in trouble. What do you mean? Somebody you've met in here that you think you know, you actually don't. It's not your friend Mikhail, either. 
I can definitely tell you that. I've been trying to catch up to you to tell you, but you were moving way too fast for me to catch up. Tell me, who do you think has been acting really strange? Besides yourself, of course. Big words from the person running around with a gun. Some guy from the academy named Evkani. He was acting like some kind of butler until I remembered more stuff. Evkani. Huh. Sounds right Azoka. To be honest, I don't remember him from the academy. I'm sure I remember a Rotozoka in a sea of Brahminian faces. So you're saying it's him? I'm saying it's suspicious. I haven't seen him, but I'm sure I'd remember him if I did. So what are you going to do now? I've got some business to take care of. I'll see you later. In my business, she means she's gonna shoot up the place. Not a bad option. I suppose if you want to recreate Doom. This area actually changes depending who you bring here. I guess it's probably based on the personality of your partner. That painting kind of looked like the symbol for Diablo 3. Much of this area is actually completed. It's kind of... Kind of dead ends. Not really dead ends, it's more of... You kind of can't proceed because of these chattering pieces of furniture. Now that I think about this, it reminds me a lot of Twin Peaks. Red rooms. Tile floors. Everyone talking gibberish and I can't understand. And bullets. Damn, there's a fight. It's Miss Chum. Hi. I heard gunshots. What's going on? Your friend with the dark hair is packing a rifle around. I think she saw something. Actually, she was carrying a pistol? To be correct. Oh no. That's my girlfriend. I mean, Hailu, we need to get down there. And we need to do it quick. Oh, actually, yeah, maybe it was a assault rifle. I'm thinking of a different character here. We didn't actually see the other girl's gun. I wouldn't recommend it. None of us are armed, and she seems to be able to take care of herself. She's alone. She knows what she's up against. Gowie. The Ilsia is a Brahminian. Uh, I don't think it's your friend, then. There's a Gowie woman with a flower in her hair running around. She's got a rifle. If you want, I can keep your friend with me safe and sound. There's a lot we don't know about this place. I will tell you one thing. What's that? You're in real danger. Anyone you are entirely sure you know is probably not at all what you think they are. They're, they're doing a lot of country name drops and I have no idea what they're talking about. I see. Well, this place seems safe enough. It's a real pain getting back though. <laughs> My sister taught me a few things. She's fantastic with computers, and she knows a thing or two about the fantastic, if you catch my drift. Well, a favor is a favor. Sheesh. Well, wow, double cute. Hi! Don't get too excited. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here on business. I'll take you between here and the hotel. That's it. Hooray! I think I really should have played the previous game in this series. 
on the Hilu, meet Inspector Chisato. She owes my family a favor from a case a while back. Obviously, something is afoot, or she wouldn't have agreed to help me so readily. All right. Whenever you need to get back to the hotel, I've got you. If I'm not there, I'm probably collecting evidence. Okay. Aren't you with Inspector Chisato? What? What's in any of your business? It's all my business. Calm down. Miss Chun said she's here to help. Okay. So who are you then? Didn't I see you in the painting with the bottle? You said something about trust and Radazoka. Oh, right. I've just been having a bit of a bad day today. We were supposed to have this one demon taken care of a while ago, and he's since resurfaced. A long time ago, a boy from Rundapi was found and raised in a temple in this year. Etienian? I see the, like, name drops here. He was out of his damn mind. He came to be Atiyah's son. When was this? About 2,000 years ago. Atiyah had been dead for about a hundred or so years by this time. Amiya, her most trusted retainer, drank poison and died with her queen, sobbing in the tomb. A boy from Rodopi left the monastery and slit his throat outside the tomb. When he arrived in Hell, he made a deal with a demon and gained all the benefits that come with woof of that. Long story short, he drags people into Hell in their sleep and drives them mad to get Amiya's attention. What? She'll destroy him? Probably not outright. I don't know why he wants to get her attention specifically, but when you mess up in hell badly enough to get Amiha's attention, you get Atiyah's. That may have something to do with it. I can help. Well, if you could get a hold of a shaman talisman, you could get the chance to leave here until you're dead. It's a round split right here. I'll try the first option first. It wasn't a dream at all. It was just hell. That works out better. Don't tell me. I'm totally stuck. I hate running into dead ends. No need to fear. I know this complex is like the back of my hand. What are you saying? You know a secret passage? How exciting! Let me in. Follow me, little girl. I'm not a little girl.
Hayami Hilo? Why do they call it Nightmare Castle? Probably because it's a nightmare made of castles. I mean, a castle made of nightmares. <laughs> I messed that up. Where'd you go? Saint Pimico. That's kind of a cute name for a saint. Oh. It's one of these, huh? You just can't make it straightforward. Gonna have some kind of warp puzzle. I guess the symbols are... I guess the sun is a position like... Time of day, something like that, to kind of figure where each door I have to go into. No, it doesn't have anything to do with the sun, I think. It might. But this one, I don't know. I guess that might be a sunset this time, because it's got that orange glow. I could just be completely... Completely, mis completely misreading this, but whatever. Okay. Something has changed in this room, and we've gained a cat girl. Oh boy. You never have a straightforward nightmare castle. Always gotta make it nightmarish in direction. Why do I feel like Ninja Gaiden all of a sudden? I have no idea where I'm going. I'll figure it out eventually. All these mazes are a nightmare. There we set. Or am I progressing? There seems like there's three statues now. Like it was one and two and so on. Yeah, we're, we're progressing. You like mazes? Well, how about a room with no mazes at all? This big open expanse. We'll let you decide which is more annoying and time consuming. Bring back the mazes! I want the mazes again! <laughs> It's not even a wall. It's some kind of... I guess there are holes in the ground. Yeah, they aren't walls. I thought they were walls at first, but... Maybe this is the right one. Yep. Yeah, this is... this is more hell-like as we proceed on. This area is pretty cool. You've beat the maze. You've beaten the open expanse. Now can you beat the stairs? Huh? I can't let you go alone. It's so dangerous. What makes you say that, Misha? Because it just is, okay? I can't let you. There's nothing to be afraid of. Once I beat up Evakami, Everything will be over. We'll be out of here, and I'll get that pie. No, it's just starting. Don't you know? This is because of your imagination. It's not a dream, Mimi. It's something else entirely. There's a reason I've always been so worried about you. And it's because I care. I care a lot. Yeah, that's what friends do, right? 
We'll have all sorts of fun in just a few minutes. Come on, we can play squeezing. And the sleep game. What is squeezing? Or the sleep game? Mimi, your mental state is what makes me worry. I'm not even sure how you passed the evaluation. There are so many problems. You're strange, and you see things that aren't there. And you hear scary voices at night when you're alone. That's why we play this sleep game, remember? Don't I make a great pillow? Aren't you afraid to be alone, Mimi? Oh, the train. It's not real. Mimi! None of it's real. Snip out of it! Please? Help, I'm squeezing? Where are you? Shh. The wizard's here. Want me to press the button? Uh huh. Is that is that the squeezing game? Come on, Mimi. Let's go save everyone. Yeah. That's yeah, that painting again. Well, well. Look who's here. Come to join your friends, Mimi. You look a bit lonely. Hey, you're not allowed to call her that. Only friends can. And you're no friend. You're a liar. And you're insane. I think if I was a villain, I would enjoy being told that just because of how cliche it is. You're insane! <laughs> like that. Isn't your precious Mimi insane herself? I mean, half of what she says makes not even a lick of sense. Don't you talk about belly buttons that way, you bastard. The jig is up, Emkani. You're under arrest by a 40 of... Ami Hailu Nagashoba. Arrestor Supreme. Is that so? I suppose I'll just have to show you why I'm so dangerous. And with a snap of my fingers. Hmm. Why won't it work on the rest of you? My sister's protective talisman is why. They must also have them. Silence! Amihalu. Now! Yes, ma'am! Curses, my evil plan was foiled by a protective talisman. That seemed to be quite easy to get in this world. And I'm also weak to bullets. Shame. Is he? Is he gone? It all happened so fast. Whoa. What in the... Now oh, looks like we're back home. Who's a pretty weak demon? I actually have no idea what his master plan really was. It was just summon some people in here, screw them over for a little bit, and then hopefully don't get shot by a bullet. Trigger discipline! I just noticed that. Trigger discipline.
Well, that's it for this version of Ami Hilo in Dreamland. I'll stand by what I said with the earlier parts of the game feeling a bit unpopulated and unfinished, while in comparison the Nightmare Castle itself was actually pretty cool. Also, the characters leave me very confused. And I got, maybe that's on purpose, because our main character is a bit odd, I guess. And she likes playing strangling games or something? Or squeezing game? That's what it's called? Something like that? I have no idea. I guess it's some kind of close your eyes and press your belly button kind of thing to turn them off? Something like that. I don't know. I don't know what all the hip kids are playing nowadays. Aside from that, I've already went over, I think, this game quite a bit as far as what I think about in my previous part. Anyway. Thank you all for watching me play Ami Hilo in Dreamland. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.